everyone, it's Mona. I'm in the craft room and today is Friday, so that means it's another Coaster Friday here at Craft Clutch. And I am going to try to make a geode, kind of, a geode coaster. And that's kind of my inspiration. And I'm going to try to do an amethyst geode. And if you don't know what that is, go ahead and Google it. And I don't know if it's going to turn out anything like it. Probably not, but maybe it'll turn out pretty cool anyway, even if it doesn't end up looking like my inspiration. Okay, I've prepared my resin. I'm using the Easy Cast, and I have my resin mold, my silicone mold. And the mold, the Easy Cast, all of that stuff, I have it linked in the description below and on my website, craftclutch.com, and I have full instructions written over on my website too if you're looking for it. And I've prepared some resin, I have some cups and let me go over some of the stuff that I have. I have purple pigment powder, white pigment powder, I have some clear beads, I have some black glitter, I have some violet India ink, I have some bugle beads in clear and then I also have some white glass shards that I cut and some purple ones and I also have some dichroic glass and the dichroic glass is really just and don't ask me how it's made I don't remember at one time I knew um, it's this iridescent glass and it's actual glass but I was thinking you could actually use um, like CDs or DVDs in place of this if you wanted to and Here's just some clear glass shards. So I'm using this stuff just to kind of give me different textures. And I don't know if it's gonna work, but there's no time like the present. So let's give it a shot. I've got my cups, and I, and I may not end up using all of this stuff either. Now my biggest concern is the first ring that I'm going to want to do is going to have the black glitter on there. And I'm thinking that it might not spread and i got to work with the glass and all of that stuff. And that's kind of my biggest worry. But I'm going to try it anyway. So I'm going to put some in here. And I have a bunch of clean stir sticks here. And I just want this to kind of give it that rocky outer look. Okay, so there's that. And now, and I, I should have enough resin. Um, I'm going to put some purple in this one. And then with the purple, I'm going to actually throw, I think, some of the bugle beads in there. I happen to have some laying around here. Um, I'm going to throw some of these beads in there. Again, I'm going for texture and I have no idea how this is going to work out. And I will throw a little bit of purple India ink and all I'm going to do is dip my stick right in there And it could be swirly. You don't really have to um, get it fully mixed. And I'll throw just a little bit of this pigment powder in there. Just to give it a little bit of an iridescent look. Okay. So there's that. And then I'll have the white. Which I'll put a little bit of this in. This pigment powder, this white pigment powder. Throw a little bit in there. And I'll use the white glass. And I'll mix that around. I want the glass to be covered. And then the last part is going to be this dichroic glass, which will be in the middle.
and I'm going to put a teeny bit of this white pigment powder in, just a teeny bit. I'll mix it around. And then I'm going to put just a tad of this Glamour Dust in there. All right, and now I'm going to start with this black glitter. And I'm actually not going to, normally I would put it in the center and have everything work around it. I'm actually going to start this on the edge and hope it doesn't run too much into the middle. Okay, I'm going to actually try to move it a little bit to the edge. And the next is going to be the purple, and hopefully this will now help move some of that stuff over to the side. And if it's too thick to be a coaster, it can always be a paperweight. So now I'm going to mix this up again a little bit. Pour it in. And then I'm going to pour the last bit in. I'll pat this down. And now I'm going to let this sit for a while and then it's a little bit lumpy so I'll come back with a thin coat on top and then I'll let it sit for 12 hours and then we'll unmold it. So I prepared a little more resin and I'm going to just put it right on over just to make sure I have a nice level surface. Let that spread out and then I'll use my lighter, pop any bubbles. We'll let it sit for 12 hours, we'll come back, we'll unmold it, and then we'll have this coaster. I am back to unmold the coaster. There it is. I just need to trim off. I had some little pieces on the edge that I just need to trim. And there it is. I don't know if you can really see it, but it is iridescent. It wasn't quite as clear in the middle as I wanted. Um, and that white really spread even further than the purple and stuff like that. I don't think it created the geode look that I was going for. There's the back. But I think it kind of turned out pretty cool anyway. So, so let me know what you think. If you like it, um, throw me a thumbs up. Happy Friday and happy weekend. We will see you next time and happy crafting.